On October 14, 2025, Microsoft will be ending support for Windows 10, retiring this version of Windows to the great digital beyond. What does this mean for you, the wayward PC user? Quite a few things, but don't worry, as in this video, we will cover everything you need to know in detail in preparation for the impending Windows 10 end date. After 10 years of support, Microsoft will end their support for Windows 10 with the release of version 22H2. Now, what does this mean exactly? This means Microsoft will no longer provide free software updates, technical assistance, or security fixes for Windows 10 after the release of the aforementioned version. Of course, this means all versions of Windows 10 will no longer be supported, no matter if you're on a previous version or 22H2. Now, don't fret, this does not mean that your computer will go kaput and stop working on October 14th. However, it does ultimately mean that an upgrade to Windows 11 should be your plans for the immediate future. You will still be able to use your computer as you currently do, albeit with a few caveats that we will cover later in this video. The main thing that you should know about transitioning from Windows 10 to Windows 11 are these. New features in Windows 11, hardware compatibility going from 10 to 11, TPM 2.0, what this is and how you can check if your system has it, and backing up your data. Let's start with what makes Windows 11 different from Windows 10. Windows 11 is Microsoft's newest operating system, bringing a host of security features, user interface enhancements, and AI to millions of PC desktops and laptops. We have things like a newly designed taskbar, an improved snap layout for application windows, better virtual desktop support, Microsoft Copilot, pass keys, and better performance gains in video games thanks to direct storage. There's two versions of Windows 11 that's available for consumers, Windows 11 Home and Windows 11 Pro. Both versions offer device encryption, find my device, firewall and network protection, internet protection, parental controls, secure boot, Windows Hello, and Windows Security, with Windows 11 Pro offering BitLocker drive encryption as the main differentiator. The next thing you should know is whether or not your PC is capable of running Windows 11. As part of a push to make PCs more secure across the board, Microsoft is requiring that all PCs that want to run Windows 11 meet the TPM 2.0 requirement. What is TPM 2.0? The definition from Trusted Computing Group states that Trusted Platform Module, TPM for short, is a microcontroller that can securely store artifacts used to authenticate the platform. Essentially what this means is TPM acts as a security checkpoint on your motherboard to verify that you are running hardware and software from trusted verified sources. In the case of Windows 11, TPM is used to ensure that your operating system and firmware are authentic and have not been tampered with. With that said, how can you check to see if your PC is compliant with this TPM 2.0 requirement? On your Windows 10 PC, you can find this information in the device security app. In the panel on the left hand side, click device security, look for security processors, and then click where it says security processors processors detail to see whether your TPM is version 1.2 or 2.0. If your PC is below version 2.0, your device does not meet the requirements for Windows 11. This would mean that a new computer would be needed in order to continue on with Windows 11. However, most consumer PCs since as early as 2015 were shipped with TPM 2.0. It's just a matter of turning it on in your device's BIOS. You can find this information on the device manufacturer's website. And just a quick note, we will also have articles on the BH Explorer blog linked below with all the information you need on upgrading to Windows 11 for you to reference. Next, let's prepare for the upgrade to Windows 11. This is arguably the most important step in the process, backing up your data. Moving from one operating system to another can sometimes lead to a loss of data as things are being moved around inside the software itself. It's best to be protected in any instance. Whether it be using a cloud-based service, external hard drives, SSDs, there are plenty of ways to back up your data and ensure safe passage to future operating systems. Windows 10 comes with a built-in backup solution, Windows Backup, which uses Microsoft's OneDrive cloud storage to safely back up your desktop, photos, documents, videos, apps, and settings. Everything will sync to your OneDrive account, so the next time you sign into OneDrive, your files will readily be available for you to resync to the computer. Finally, let's talk about how to actually upgrade to Windows 11. Assuming your PC meets the requirements, updating is quite simple. Navigate to the Settings app, select Update and Security, then click on Windows Update. If you haven't downloaded the latest Windows 10 version, Windows Update will proceed to install the latest version, after which you may be prompted to download Windows 11. Upgrading to Windows 11 is free of charge as long as you're upgrading to like versions of Windows, Windows 10 Home to Windows 11 Home, and so on. If you are a Windows 10 Home user and want to upgrade to Windows 11 Pro, you can do so through the Microsoft Store after completing the upgrade to Windows 11 Home. 
From here, inside the Microsoft Store, you can upgrade to Windows 11 Pro for 99 bucks. Now for those who can't or choose not to update to Windows 11, Microsoft offers an extended security updates program to those who want to continue using their computer's existing operating system. Microsoft states for Windows 10 Home customers, extended security updates for Windows 10 will be available for purchase at $30 for one year. Of course, if your computer can't run Windows 11 and you want to move on from Windows 10, buying a new PC, desktop, or laptop is in the cards. b &H has a wide variety of Windows 11 PCs to best suit your needs, so feel free to reach out via phone, chat, live video chat, or by coming into our NY Superstore. That covers everything that you need to know about Windows 10's end of support. We'll have links down below to articles providing more detail on what this means for you, backing up your data, upgrading, and the new features that are available in Windows 11. I'm Sydney with B&H. Thanks for watching.